Hey guys, this is Red, and today I'm going to show you everything I bought uh, from Namco Bandai. It has 75% off a uh, certain um, item sale. Um, there's a one item. It's, uh, I think it's, what does it say here? It's a uh, Blinky, I think. And this is one of the ghost, um, that's what I call them, ghosts, that uh, Pac-Man eats. They had a bunch of these. These are really cool. I think it was six bucks, five bucks. I guess it's normally 75% more than that. Got a an inversion shirt, which you can see it on the side. This was pretty cheap. I think it was like less than five bucks. I love gaming. Any type of gaming shirt, unless it's a really bad game like Naughty Bear, I would never buy that. Um, this game probably is not half bad. You can buy it for like 20 bucks now. That's the back. It, it looks pretty cool. It's a nice shirt. I just like any type of shirt, as long as it's pretty cheap and it has something to do with gaming. This is a Tekken Hybrid shirt. This is about the same price, I think. It says, I love Tekken. And I was student teaching today, that's why I have this tie and crap on. Uh, um, I'm surprised these didn't break. It came in a huge box that was like almost the size of me. For... It only had, it had this, it looked like it was almost thrown in there, I'm surprised it didn't break. Um, this is Pac-Man shot glasses, these are normally 30 bucks, I paid seven fifty or $5 or something. I'm just surprised it didn't break, because it was just like thrown in there, it wasn't even flat when I opened it. Um, I have two statues I bought. And that's what brought the total to like $75. Um, you get free shipping, I think about $50. I'm not sure. Um, okay, it just says a monkey statue and enslaved monkey and trip statue. The one is like a monkey jumping and he's like ready to protect a trip who's down by like a one of those machines. I haven't played this game since it came out. So it's been about four years. So. Uh, this is the box it comes in. It's a huge box. These might be a lot bigger than what I thought they would be. And this is a game made by Ninja Theory. And Journey or Journey to the West or Odyssey to the West. Um, that was a book it was based on. It was a really fun game. Same people that made Heavenly Sword and Yeah. I would definitely recommend it. It's like twenty or fifteen bucks now certain places. You might be able to find it for 10 or $5 used. It's a really fun game. Um, I think I bought it when it first came out. I beat it on hard mode. Had trouble trying to record it back then because all I had was a VCR and the standard definition stuff. I forget what I had. Uh, Dazzle? That's what I had. That's what I could afford. That's what I had. Um, now I use an HD PVR too. So... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Comment below. I have not received a single donation yet. If you want to donate, just go to the link below through PayPal and just donate a dollar. Um, I haven't gotten one donation yet, so all the money has been coming off of the YouTube views and stuff. Um, right now, I'm not really going to be buying anything except for Final Fantasy X and Dragon Guard III. Um, if a friend or... I am able to get an early re uh, review copy, I do that. Or if my friend gets it early from the game store, I do that. Um, I don't have opportunities to buy too many more games because gas is so much. And that's pretty much where all my money from YouTube because I'm not getting paid like anything. Don't go with TGN. Don't go with Broadband TV. Don't go with Vizio. Vizio. They pay you crap amounts of uh, revenue per thousand views. It's really terrible. Um, I heard Machinima is pretty bad. Don't go with them. Don't go with Yaosh. Uh, they're really hard to get into. And they pay about the same amount. Uh, I heard about Freedom. If I'm able to get out of my contract with BBTV, I might go with them. Um, they have some pretty good benefits. There is also another one called Life, which I don't know if they're exactly uh, correct like on all their stats. Because I've been seeing mixed stats from what they sent me from the email and what I see on their website. But they also offer um, a non, um, 
annual contract, which you can leave at any time. So, yeah. That's why I took out the TGN thing, because I'm just so tired of them. Um, their support's terrible. They don't pay you too much. And some of their YouTubers are real jerks, like the ones in the main ones in charge. Um, the TGN icon, apparently my montages suck, um, which they don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, no nothing I put in there went with the music, even though I, like, worked it to, like, go well with the music. And my subscribers liked it. You guys liked it. Those videos. Um, apparently I shouldn't do multiple games. Um... My game apparently uh, montage or an MEP isn't supposed to have multiple uh, gaming. Oh, a montage is just supposed to have Battlefield or freaking Call of Duty, and that's it. That's all the games that you can have in it. It isn't supposed to be exciting and fun. No, it's supposed to be crap, and apparently that's what I made. And I've seen a lot worse. Um, I don't know. I don't support them anymore. Even though I'm partner with BBTV, um, I can tell you, don't go with them. They suck. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and please donate a dollar, anything. Um, my XSplit license uh, expires, and I still can't live stream on this channel. So if I'm actually able to, I might do it on my new channel that is partnered by Freedom. You can go there and subscribe, and if you want to donate, I'll give you a shout-out or something. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.